do have a, a question that I'd like to ask. Um, you know, philosophically, we know that it's an illusion. Uh, the separation is an illusion. Um, scientifically, we know it because we now know that they're all part of a quantum field of ever-changing molecules. But in the day-to-day -day minutia of it, it can get very heavy. And um, so for those who might be watching that really are struggling to believe in humanity coming back together um, and are maybe struggling in the circumstances of their lives, do either of you have a thought or even a practice for yourself when you're hitting despair or uh, even disillusionment? Well, I mean, I left my organization last year because of severe burnout. And, you know, part of my burnout was I had been running the desecration of our planet through my nervous system for decades mm -hmm. because that was my version of being intimate with nature. And I didn't know how not to do that. And it's been an incredibly difficult process uh, of how do I connect with nature when nature is being so harmed? How do I allow myself to feel fully without just feeling the pain? And so I've been deep in that inquiry around how do I heal um, myself without just going completely offline into la la land and becoming one of those people that I've despaired with who pretends like nothing's wrong, you know? So it's like, I think the first thing to acknowledge, like this is a conundrum, like we're in a seriously large conundrum and um you know barbara marx hubbard who is who i just will love forever um i'm i bumped into her on an airplane and she was asleep and i was crying because i'd just driven through colorado and for five hours i hadn't seen a single tree that wasn't dead or dying and i was just in total despair and uh, eventually she woke up and, I, and she grabbed my hand across the aisle and she was like, Claire, you're here. And I'm like, Barbara, you're awake. Thank God. And she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, I can't, I can't hack it. I can't deal with this. And she said, Claire, with those eyes like staring straight at me, Claire, you have to find your intimacy with the evolutionary impulse. It was pure Barbara. And in that moment, I got this total transmission of there is a vast intelligence that's holding the whole thing of which we are part. There is a huge wave that is carrying us through an evolutionary process. And my old um, spiritual teacher who would say, trying to understand the workings of the universe with your mind is like trying to empty an ocean into a bucket using a spoon. <laughs> and those two things like got me through I was just like okay like my ego is taking this completely personally because I'm wedded to every living thing on this planet but every living thing on this planet is also part of this continuum of energy and I have no actual comprehension of the multidimensionality of the, the, of our existence of how this world is fluxing through time like I can do an absolute number on myself with my mind or I can focus on what is living, what is thriving, what is beautiful. And I think focusing on beauty is a, is a profoundly healing gateway, stabilizing gateway, whether it's music or a flower or a hummingbird or the gesture of kindness or, you know, tuning yourself to the frequency of the world that you want to experience as emerging is what Mark would call a through line. It's like a through line through the chaos of the rapids that we're in. It's like life isn't ultimately cruel and destructive. Life is consistently trying to evolve more life. Therefore, what do I want to hook my consciousness to? The destruction and desecration of everything or the emergence of pure beauty and love and what human beings can be? Well, in order to do the latter, I need to find my own heart and I need to find my own appreciation for beauty. And when I do that, then I can log on to the beauty of everything around me and hold on to that. And that's how I do it. I hold on to that and I try and move myself through the world oriented to beauty, not in, not in denial about what's going on. But I know that my nervous system tanks and my energy tanks if I hook in to the stress and the nightmare of it 
rather than seeing this as part of our of our evolution it has to be part of our evolution or it wouldn't be happening if we could be doing any better than we are right now we would be doing better than we are right now therefore this is as good as it gets for now but what is emerging through us, which I think is what the hollow movement is pointing to, is the emergence of something truer. That true unified field of love is trying to press through from the inside out. But what happens with love is it pushes the unlove out first. Mm -hmm. So everything that is dissociated and fractured is coming to consciousness. And again, I don't see another way around that. So just like figuring out how you orientate your mind in it and then leading with your heart towards beauty is how I do it anyway. I'll just add that, you know, being around Claire, the, the, <laughs> the river that was my teacher and mentor that uh, I fell in love with and spent years trying to save is gone and it will not be able to again and, um, touch and transform people's lives as it did for me and the tens of thousands of people who visited that place. And being with Claire, she has been masterful at diving, not being in denial, but diving into the pain and letting that out, letting that pain alchemize her, letting her tears alchemize her and coming out like a more fierce lioness at every, at every turn. And the other elements for me <clears throat> is that, you know, again, it's something, Deborah, you said early on about all these people who are doing things. It's like I've had, having had the privilege of working with, again, people around the world, what I know is in every single country, despite the economic and education status, there are souls working to change their world or themselves. And so, to me, we can't see who are we becoming. We really are in the middle of this huge, great emergence. This holo movement is moving through all of life. And we get seduced by the media that tells us only the, quote, bad news. And how to not be in denial of that. And how to remember that we humans are bringing forth miracle and love and light and we get to do it with joy. And as Claire said, we get to focus on the through line. So how to keep putting our heart's attention and living in integrity, aligning our genius with our heart's genius and knowing.